Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the other from your Macintosh HD storage and how to delete this and free up some space. So I've seen a few crazy ideas about how to get rid of other. One includes reformatting the computer entirely and then starting from scratch. I think that this is completely unnecessary and I wanna show you how to address this other storage issue and free up some space on your computer. When you go to the About This Mac and then go to the Storage tab like I've done here, you'll be met with various categories of space. When you click the Manage button here, you'll get this menu which shows you what applications and files are being used on your computer and what is consuming the most space. The the simplest thing to do is to go to review files and then remove applications and files and games that you don't need. This is going to be removing things from documents. You can also remove applications, you can sort by size, etc. However, what we really want to do is to get at the other section here. The way to do that is to use a third party tool. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm going to leave a link to this application called Grand Perspective in the description of this YouTube video. What we're going to do is to download this application. So I'm going to click here, download. You don't have to pay for this, so don't download the App Store version. You can use the SourceForge version, which is completely free. So once we've downloaded the application, I'm going to double click on the DMG file that I've downloaded. And then what we're going to do is to open up Finder and Applications, and then I'm going to move Grand Perspective into this folder. So once Grand Perspective is installed, I'm going to double click on it, and then I'm going to click Open. I'm just going to minimize everything else. And then what we're going to do is double click on Macintosh HD. And because this is the internal solid state drive, it's going to scan it very quickly. So just leave that for a minute or two. Once this scan has completed, I'm going to double click on a space here to maximize this window. So what this application does is that it divides up your storage drives into these squares. And these squares will help you to determine where the storage is being kept. If squares are the same color, then that means that they are part of the same folder. If you mouse over a file, the path, which is where the file is located, will appear at the bottom bar. So you can see exactly what that file is. If you want to open Finder in order to delete that file, what you can do is hold down Control and then click on that square and then click Reveal in Finder. And what that will do is to show you that file. So this is my Windows 11 virtual machine and this is 166 gigabytes and therefore it's occupying this huge chunk of the computer. However, what we're interested in is these smaller chunks which are kind of hidden away. So I'm just gonna give you a little tour of my own computer at the moment and show you where these files are and how they correspond to the computer. So to help me a little bit, I'm gonna keep this storage tab with the other on the side here, and then just gonna demonstrate where these files are located in Grand Perspective. So for example, if I look at this Downloads Tidy, so if I go to this file and if I control click and then reveal in Finder, then I'm gonna find this 9.73 gigabyte game installer, which I'm going to delete now. So I'm going to control click on this file, click move to bin, and then when I minimize that, when I go to my bin, and what I can do is remove this 9.73 gigabyte file. So I'm going to control click on this file and then click empty bin, and then click empty bin again. And what that's gonna do is to free up a little bit of space. But if you notice, it hasn't touched this 114 gigabytes of other. Because that file was inside the downloads folder, it's counted normally as part of documents. What I'm more interested in is the other files too, which are not in a traditional documents or desktop user folder. They're normally located inside application support folders. So for example, this entire section here here is the application support folder. So what I'm going to do is control click on one of these files and then click reveal in Finder. And then this is showing me the Albion Online game is located within this section here. So if you can't see this, this is the path bar. This is quite important to turn on. If you don't have the path bar turned on, it makes it much harder to find the parent folder. So if I go back to double click on application support, this brings me back to all of the folders which are not gonna be counted in the normal sections here. For example, this Albion Online, which I don't want to play at the moment, I'm gonna to go to the Sandbox Interactive parent folder, I'm gonna click on this, control click, and then move to bin. I'm gonna close that, and then I'm going to go to my bin, and then I'm going to control click here on the empty space and click empty bin. I'm also going to go ahead and remove a few other things too. So for example, I've got these apps which I've installed through Play Cover. And what I'm going to do here is to basically delete these two. I don't play this game at the moment. And I'm going to look through more application support stuff. So you have to be very careful when you're downloading application support files because these files might be required for other parts of your computer. Just be sure that you're deleting the correct thing. So here I'm located a MiHoYo download. So this is to do with Genshin Impact once again. And if I'm not playing Genshin Impact, then this is consuming a lot of space 
which is not going to be required. So I can click on this iOS folder and what I'm going to do is to move this to bin. I'm going to go ahead and delete this entire Genshin Impact downloads folder. Here I found a Paradox launcher. So this is for Paradox games. And basically I don't need this at the moment. So I'm going to control click and move to bin. I'm going to open the bin and see what's inside. And then I'm going to control click and click empty bin. So once that's done, I'm going to refresh this storage tab by clicking displays and then storage. And then it's going to start calculating how much storage is left. So as you can see, we've reduced our other from 114 gigabytes down to 95 gigabytes, and that's purely down to the application support. So if you want to go any further, what you can do is just click rescan here and it'll just do another scan of your computer. So this new scan is completed. I'm going to close the old one and this one I'm just going to resize once more. So now we have a slightly different view of the computer. The files that we've deleted have now gone and you can see that there are other aspects of and you can see now this application support section here is much smaller than it was before. You can actually go ahead and delete some of these things, but they're probably mission critical for you. These are kind of the back end files. So just be very careful with what you delete. You have to use the context clues based on the path of where that file is located to know whether it's safe to delete. Inside the application support folder, there is going to be more applications which store files here, which it shouldn't really do, but they do have things like save games and settings for specific applications, etc. If you have something you're sure that you don't need anymore, then you can go ahead and delete them and then start clearing out this other space. Obviously, not everything can be deleted from others, so just be very careful. You might need something later down the line which you don't realize, so just be very careful about what you delete. Anyway, I hope this helps with people finding out what is in the other section of their Mac computer. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.